I'm going to show you a couple of very useful tricks that you can do in Microsoft PowerPoint and the other Office applications as well. But tonight we're going to do PowerPoint if you have a Wacom tablet. So let's get to it. Here, here's the slide. And right at the moment, I am preparing some uh, math related lectures. And that means that you're going to write a lot of formulas. And you know, the traditional way of doing that is that you go it's like here, insert equation, and then you can do something. Yeah, get some example here. A equals pi r squared plus, let's say we want to do y divided by, oh, caps lock is perhaps on, y divided by x equals lambda. Oh, wait, I can't do it that way. I have to go somewhere here and find lambda the symbol oh where do we have it uh alpha beta gamma epsilon i'm too tired yeah it's there somewhere if you just look around a little bit but there is an easier way to do it this was kind of the point of this is a problem here's the solution if you have the wake on you could do it like this instead a equals pi times r, r squared plus y over x equals lambda is just some silly formula and yeah it's handwritten so that's very very fast and i prefer i um, i prefer personally if, if i have like a formula like this that I, we have uh, y equals x plus 2 minus 1 then y equals x plus one and then we do a final step here what would that be y minus one equals x now if you're going to show this to students you would perhaps prefer to to let them appear with animations and then you can go like this we fade that one first that one second and then finally that one so then each time you click you can you can make them appear and get it somewhat more to feel like you're actually writing it down even though you've d done it in advance so uh, that's way, one way of doing it of course you can also use it as a regular whiteboard if you'd like but this uh, gives you the possibilities you can add pictures or um, images or other videos or other types of contents in your presentation so it's a uh, it's a powerful tool when you learn to use it but now finally I want to show you something else here which is pretty cool Let's say you, you want to have some equations here. Uh, where did they go? Oh, there. You can do this as well. Ink equation. So let's do that one that I tried to write but failed. Then you do it like this. Write math here. A equals pi r squared plus y divided by x equals lambda and then you got it insert bam very fast I know there are probably other options as well maybe MathCAD or something like that but uh, for me as a teacher when I'm preparing lectures this is uh, like a gift from God <laughs> I love it it's wonderful and um, I have also found some pretty good uses in uh, Microsoft Excel for this but let's do that some other time yeah, that's it for tonight. And in tonight's video, I'm wearing gray. I've been kind of lazy on the clothes fronts this week. I've just had pretty much the same shirt and then I just alternate with a couple of jackets and I move my pocket squares around a little bit. But sometimes that's enough. If you have some good pocket squares like this one, this is a very good one. You can create so many different outfits just with a handful of, of uh, clothes. I think it's called a capsule wardrobe when you do this minimalistic wardrobe. And it's quite useful. See you later. See you later. It's very late here, so I'm very tired. So, <laughs> ciao.